forever I'm that girl. Hey beautiful people, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another new... What are, what are we doing? <laughs> Welcome back to another First Impressions video. Lord Father Jesus, can you tell I haven't filmed in like two weeks? <laughs> Oh, it's a time, y'all. Anyways, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing one look for you guys on the new Metamorph palette from Artitude Cosmetics. Now, if you're not familiar, Artitude Cosmetics is a brand that I discovered last year. It is a UK-based indie brand, which I'm always excited by because so many brands tend to be based in the US, which can be really expensive for folks that don't live within the US because y'all know shipping, customs, all of that adds up. So when I see indie brands popping out from other countries, I'm really excited because it does mean that folks are able to get the special shades, the special formulas at a cheaper price because I'm not gonna lie y'all, <laughs> these indie brands are not worth it when you add up the customs and the shipping and all that fun jazz, J just saying, just saying. So. For this video, I'm gonna do it slightly different because I am so behind on filming, which is just like a me problem and my own fault, but I want to catch up on so many things that I kind of just have sitting. So I'm gonna only give you guys one look. Don't be mad at me, I'm so very sorry. I will try to come back and do like a chat to get ready with me using this, but I'm just gonna give you guys some product details, swatches, one demo of this look, and then just kind of wrap it up with my first impression thoughts. Again, I'm only doing one look, so if this is a true first impressions, and it really does take testing a palette a couple of times to get a feel for whether or not there are things that work or don't work. So that being said, let's jump into the product details. So like I said, this is the Metamorph palette from Artitude Cosmetics. I want to say this is their third release that I've gotten in PR. Uh, the first one that I got was their Man Eater palette, which is what made me fall in love with the brand. I've talked about this before. I think it was in my top 10 for last year. They have the blackest black eyeshadow that I've ever seen. And when I tell you their mattes blend like a dream and their shimmers are really, really nice, it, it is what it is. I actually have been wearing the Manita palette a lot lately because it has one of those spicy neutral shades that I'm just obsessed with. You know what, hold on, let me get it. So this is the Manita palette. The Metamorph palette has a cover like this, but I don't even know where it is, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> My apartment looks like like it just blew up because it's just a mess and that's my own fault. I'm gonna try to fix it. But this is the Manita palette. Um, it is what I would consider a spicy neutral and it has this beautiful dual chromy multi chromy shade that is one of my favorite spicy neutrals. It's like a coppery shade but it has like green in there and I've been wearing this for like a full week straight because it's just such a perfect warm spicy neutral bronzy coppery greenish shade and that has been my go-to for the last week because I've really been into more simplified um neutral leaning looks my parents are in town so I've been entertaining them because you know I pull all of the weight in my family <laughs> I'm really just kidding you guys but no seriously I've been entertaining my parents for a week so I've been trying to stick with like very simple everyday friendly one and done kind of shades and that's what this one has been anyway anyways this is completely going off the rails <laughs> It's because I miss y'all and I want to talk. But yes, this is the Manita palette that made me fall in love with the brand. And then they sent me Metamorph. And y'all, shooketh, excited. Because I have been in this Spice Neutrals phase. But I opened this up and I was like, well, that color got me coming back, okay? <laughs> so here we have the palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely beautiful. But yes, a very, very colorful palette. So in terms of product details, you do get most of the details here on the back. So it says this is 16 gorgeous eyeshadows with four unique textures, then nine buttery easy to blend mattes, two gorgeous high definition foils, three soft dual chromes with a subtle color shift, color shift sorry, and two metallic multichromes with an intense color shift. This is 100% vegan and cruelty free. It has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in China. So. Those are all of the product details for you guys. Um, I don't really know which one of these are dual chromes, but I do want to point out the two multi-chromes that they have in the palette. It's this purple one and this blue one. And you can kind of see the shift there in the palette. And I will say that all of these are pretty smooth shimmers with the exception of this one here, which is more of that very, very chunky formula. Okay, so you guys should have seen the swatches pop up as I was talking about the product details. So let's go ahead and dive into the demo. Dive, let me slow down, Jamila, slow down. 
Let's go ahead and dive into the demo and then I'll come back at the end and give you guys my first impression thoughts. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the eye look. Sorry, it's not in pristine condition. I swatched the palette. <laughs> it kind of is what it is, you guys. Um, I want to I want to do purple today. I'm wearing purple. I think I'm gonna play around with these two shades. Um, hmm. Let's see. You know what? We're going bold. It's been a minute since I've done a bold look, so I'm gonna go in with this purple, pinky purple shade. It's called Spring. I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Oh, hold on. That is a lot of product in. Tap my brush off. Oh yeah. So these are soft. And I'm just gonna plop that into the crease. Oh, that's good pigment. Funny enough, I have been wearing Artitude Cosmetics, their Manita palette a lot in the last week or so. I think I wore it like every day for a week. Yeah, it was wild. Um, but I just, I really like that palette. It's one of those spicy neutral palettes that I just go back to, man. And that's a pretty old one in my collection. And I say old as in like a year old, but y'all know how these makeup streets move. Like things become old within a month. It's, it's wild. Anyways, I haven't worn makeup in probably about like a full week. It's been busy and I'll probably do a chatty get ready with me when things settle down. I, can, I know I keep saying that, but like I have a lot of chatty get ready with me videos that I need to film for y'all, you know, just like update y'all and what life has been doing because life has been lifing and it's been lifing hard and I just want to keep y'all posted. I know my frequency has been literally a mess. Like, I think I upload maybe once a week. Part of that being because of how busy things have been, and then part of that being just because I wanna be outside. Like, and I have been outside. I've been just living my life, doing what I can with this summer weather. Like, if you know me, you know that I struggle with the cold. And now that it's been warm, because it's summer. I'm just trying to enjoy the little piece of summer that we have here as someone who, you know, is an island girl and knows that it is very time limited. <laughs> this is also gonna be a somewhat simple, quick and easy look because I am gonna try to film two other videos to get y'all some content up because I know I've been doing the most. So next up, we're gonna take that Emperor shade. It's like a deep purple and I'm gonna plop that into the Ulta V. Ooh. One thing that um, you should know about this palette is that in the this first release of the palette, the brand has said that the manufacturer messed up one of their shades. I do believe it is this shade, and it is not the correct pigment, or I should say probably depth, that they were hoping, hoping for. But the palette had already been assembled, and these are not magnetic pans. So what they're doing is they're giving you a single shade in the correct sort of depth that they wanted. So the option was that they were either gonna plop out the shades, sorry, the shade that was wrong, and then glue back in the new one, but the palette would look a little bit janky, or they would just add the single shade on the side. Personally, I'm glad they just added it on the side because it kind of means that you get an extra single, which is awesome, and your palette not gonna look janky. So I'm glad that they chose to go that route. It also just feels like it would have been a lot of extra work for no real um, benefit. And it would have taken it a longer time. This would have delayed the release. So I think this is the best option. And like I said, you get a free shade. So something to note. Um, that being said, because I think they have the issue fixed, if you are buying this in like a next release, once they've kind of restocked, once they finish selling this, original stock, you're not gonna get that extra shade and you're gonna get the correct shade in the palette. So just an FYI. But I like this though. This is nice. But I don't think it is the shade. Now I'm thinking out loud. I think it is the blue shade at the bottom. I'm gonna have to double check. Either way, I have an extra shade and I love that because their mattes are actually very, very nice quality. They blend, they build, and the depth is beautiful. Look at that, oh my gosh. 
One thing I like about this palette is that there's really only one chunky shimmer, the rest are really smooth. And I really want a purple look today, so I'm actually gonna go in with this as the first shade. And then, I think I wanna go in with this next. So I'm actually gonna take that purple multi-chrome, it's called Floral, and I'm gonna plop that right into the center of the lid, because that is gonna be the star of the show. Um, that being said, this is not a unique multi-chrome. It has the standard purple to gold greenish flip that I think we've seen everywhere. Um, I think think like Pat McGrath, Sextraterrestrial or Sextreme, that kind of flip. So you definitely, more likely than not, have this shift, but it's a classic for a reason and love how nice and smooth this is. Oh, this is beautiful. And then next up, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's called Pollen. It's kind of like a rose gold pinky shade. It's a little bit thicker than the multi-chrome and a little bit creamier feeling on the finger. But I'm gonna plop that into this inner part of the eye and then kind of blend it into the purple multi-chrome shade. Okay, you guys see the vibe, you see the vision. Let me clean this up and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, we're back. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me apply the shadows to my lids. Let me give you guys my thoughts on the palette. Again, this is after one use, so this is a true first impressions. So I will come back once I've had time to play with this a little bit more and in a sort of ranking the last X amount of palettes I've used video so that I can talk to you guys and give you all like true details about having used more of these shades. But with having applied just this one look, I will say that this is a lovely palette to wait with. I think the mattes blend really well. They have decent pigment, like really good pigment. Quite frankly, this is reminiscent of the Blast palette that I showed you guys from the brand, the Metamorph. It's the same good matte formula that I know and love. And just from looking at this, I really do appreciate that the shades that they chose will work on deeper complexions. There's nothing here that is too dusty or too ashy and won't work for deeper complexions. Um, but just talking about the matte formula, great pigment, great blendability. Absolutely love that because you guys know how I feel about mattes. They ground a look, they frame a look. I said this at the intro, but I do want to point it out again. I really appreciate that the formula that they chose for the shimmers is that smoother formula. This chunky one, I think, is honestly probably the most easy to find in the shimmer shade. And the one that I find to be least interesting and not the most appropriate for all different skin types. I find this to be so chunky that it applies terribly with a brush. And for the most part, you have to go in with a finger to smooth it out. It ten also tends to, in my opinion... And not, I'm not speaking about this shade particularly, but I'm talking about this type of chunky shade from all brands. In my opinion, they tend to have a lot more creaminess to it, which I know can affect some people if they have oily lids. I don't experience that problem, and personally, I don't mind going in with my fingers. I actually prefer it. So I can make these shadows work, but I do prefer the smoothness of the other shimmer shades here. So I really appreciate it being able to get a really nice smooth look with this because I do think it makes it just a little bit more wearable, a little bit more um, everyday friendly. So very excited to keep trying this. The one thing that I will say with this one look, because again, I need to play with it more to have like fully fleshed out thoughts, is that the multi-chrome for this palette is not the strongest shift that I've seen. Quite frankly, on the lids, you can kind of sort of barely see the shift, which... If you are really looking for a strong multi-chrome, I don't know if you're gonna get it from this shade in particular. Maybe the green one will have a starker, more prominent shift, but this one I'm noticing on the eyes, it kind of just looks like a purple look. And when I turn my head, it still kind of gives purple. And I don't know if part of that is because it is so grounded in the purple mats that surround it that that may be contributing to it. But something to keep in mind if you are looking into this palette. Overall, I'm really happy about this and I'm actually quite surprised by how excited this palette made me because I've been in such a neutral feel lately. 
that it is exciting to have a colorful palette that just kind of like tickles my fancy and makes me want to dive into color because then I come up with looks like this and I'm like, oh, now I remember why I love colorful shadows. Anyways, I don't think I have a code with the brand, but if I do, it will be up here on the screen and that could save you 10%. If I don't, I'm sorry, y'all. I think other people do. <laughs> I'm sure you can find a code somewhere. But as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna leave a comment just to let me know that you support and you don't know what to say, leave a butterfly because this does like, I mean, it's all butterflies, right? That's exactly what this is. So leave a butterfly down below or a purple heart this time just to show your support. I'm doing my best to give you guys videos, but I'm also outside, y'all. Your girl is outside. <laughs> and I hope you are too. I hope you are having the best summer. I appreciate you guys so much more than you know. I definitely miss filming, so don't worry. I'm not going nowhere, okay? I'll be back very, very soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.